I've sacrificed a lot for this plunge. Um, I keep ranting about this. I keep talking about how much I've sacrificed. A lot of effort and stuff. But like, um, it's just, it's really difficult to articulate like the frustration that I go through with the plunge. And like, I've tried changing a lot. I've tried changing, you know, like my form, you know, my, especially my warm up, doing everything I could, you know, like I tried changing my workout a lot. And for the past two weeks, um, I, I peaked two weeks ago and I've just been regressing at this point. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's annoying. It's demotivating like hell. And, um, whenever you look back at your videos and you see how well you were doing, right? Seeing how much progression you were like producing. And then you see yourself now, it pisses you off a lot. And, um, I don't know, like, especially when you're trying to put in an excessive amount of effort in order to really produce the results, but you still just don't get those results, right? And like, you know, that really reflects a lot of things in life where you put a lot of effort, but you just don't get it, right? So um, I, I decided for this, for the planche, um, I'm going to rest for at least a week. I was looking through my videos. I realized that um, on my video that I had the best session, I took a two whole week rest and um, like you may be wondering like why didn't I look at this before and like oh why did you only just realize this well like no I have realized this for quite a while but I refuse to believe that like taking a excessive amount of rest was going to like substantially improve the plant right so yeah I decided I'm going to take one week break or at least one week and see how I feel Normally when I take long breaks, I don't really feel that good. And it takes a while for me to get back to where I started. But since I started feeling a bit of pain in my left shoulder as well, I'm going to rest it up. And yeah, I'll s you'll probably see another planche video in a week.